So Josh, what do you actually do here at Easy Crypto Hunter? What do you do in this facility and so on? What do you do? Um, so in a nutshell, really, we, we build the hardware. So okay. we build and we sell top-end GPU mining hardware. These rigs behind Those us, rigs right? behind us, yeah. So, so you build these and sell these. Build these, sell them, ship them around the world, yeah. So or customers come and pick them up, you know, in person. So, so they actually take possession of one of these rigs yeah, back here. Take possession of it and they can go and put it in the house or home or office or wherever the heck they choose to run them. Okay. Um, so no so cloud mining contracts. No cloud mining, no contracts, no we don't take business. commissions, we don't take cuts, we don't take any of that. Um, it's, it's very simple. Very, very simple. You're stuff. buying a physical product. Physical machine that's totally yours, you own it, and that's it. Okay. And what are some of the types of people that come to you? We've talked about a few of these. One of the biggest ones you said was like property developers are kind of interested in these machines. Why, why property developers? Yeah, so property developers um, are quite, quite interested in our, in our equipment actually because I guess it's the same economic psychology. Right. So if you think of a, a property investor, they might say spend £100,000 on a house. Mm -hmm. um, they put the money down into an asset of some description. And then they typically have a, a tenant who's maybe renting things out. Okay. So if you're a property developer, you might do very well if you're getting, say, 8% yield a year is pretty flipping good, you know, compared to the banks, which is what, 1%? Right. Um, and then you kind of hope that over time that property value increases. Okay. So they're the kind of stages. So if you apply that to crypto mining, you know, mm -hmm. you kind of buy your machine, you kind of get the passive income um, as the machine generates crypto. Okay. And then obviously the crypto gains value in the future. So it's a kind of that the, the stages match up. Um, That's very re interesting. really well, but the difference is, is a machine doesn't call you up at three in the morning because the boiler's broke, <laughs> or they don't mess up your carpets. And obviously, when it comes down to the numbers, there's a vast difference between what you can earn. You know, you might get eight percent a year if you're in uh, rental and, and property, which property is rental, which is pretty right. good. You know, depending on how the market is, obviously things move and it's all over the place. You know, it's it's fair to assume you can get anything between eight to twelve percent per month with per a month. with a mining rig. Yeah. So eight percent a year versus eight percent a month. It's pretty much what it comes down to, yeah. So huh. obviously the figures do move sometimes. Sometimes it's a bit lower than that. Sometimes it's a little bit more. Um, it It'll really... never be eight percent a year. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's never eight percent a year. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And you don't need to redecorate these either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. With the, yeah. So, with so I mean, we end up having like a property developed package um, where and you've actually catered to them. Like yeah, that. we've, we've okay. catered to that now. So uh, we have a lot of customers come to us and they say, "Hey, I've got this. I want to do this." and you know, if you say you already have a spare house, um, typically in the UK, a normal domestic house can get 100 amps on a circuit. Mm -hmm. um, these run at just 1300 watts. So, you know, we say five amps just to give a bit of overhead. Okay. So, you know, you can fit in 16 of these in a, in a house very happily in the UK. You know, with, put with them a bit of headroom different there. round the world. Yeah, with a bit of headroom as well. Um, 16 of these. Yeah. So, I mean, as you can see, you know, they're behind us now. They're not troubling anyone. They're on the mining as we're talking. Um, they're not particularly offensive or upsetting anybody. So providing you've got a normal plug socket, you can stick them in and off you go. Um, so all of a sudden, that owner of the house would take maybe £500 a month profit from his tenant mm -hmm. um, and turn that into you know pretty much that for each individual machine. And there's now 15, 16 of them in the house. So mm -hmm. the same physical space is now yielding ferociously more money. So they've literally just taken that economic model, which to them, I suppose because they're not, particularly attached to crypto they've just seen it as a business case and say well the yeah. model's exactly the same same model yeah it's, uh, you almost have a tenant yeah you have an asset value yeah it becomes a virtual tenant right a virtual tenant yeah right, absolutely yeah which which is less trouble and a higher return which that's is that's it there's yeah. no doubt they're so enthusiastic about it right yeah it's a really interesting uh, use case for us and, and it's a growing market for us as well sure um, and that's not to say you know you need to be at the level where you're buying loads of houses to buy these machines because it's just not the way it is. You can, you know, have loads of customers who just go and take one, right. and that that works fine too. You know, you're still earning great money. It's so, just these people already already happen to be yeah, they're already in that system, yeah, with so, that space that may be empty. That's whatever, right, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. The other one you mentioned was business owners. So why are business owners interested in this stuff as well? Um, you know, again, as we've talked about previously about tangibility and transparency in the industry. You know, we're fully set up, fully, you know. Uh, as a company, in as the a UK, company in the UK, right? you know we've that registered, we're insured, kind of all the rest of it. So, fundamentally, if you're a business in the UK or in Europe, um, anywhere around the world, really, you're able to kind of purchase stuff from us. And there's inherent business advantage of that. Mm -hmm. You know, in the UK, you can claim your VAT back if the goods are leaving the country. We don't need to charge VAT. Um, That's like sales tax in, in the yeah, 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 it, yeah, sales tax basically yeah. for, for your non-UK viewers. Um, 
So effectively, if you're a business in the UK, you're able to get that VAT back. So, you, you know, you're saving 20% on top. Mm -hmm. um, but because it's effectively just a, a computer at the end of the day or, you know, a, a server or, you know, however you want to put it through the business on your accounts, um, you're able to kind of, some people choose to write that down as depreciables of, of assets, you know, the same way you'd write down computers, depreciation of value, that type of thing. Right. So it becomes a very great product to be able to buy as a, as a company because mm -hmm. um, obviously it's able to earn some pretty nice change along the way and it is essentially pc components so yeah it's just it's, a, yeah it's it equipment in it's the a books, funky right? computer in its nutshell right you know? it just happens to be enlarged in one particular area that's which right. is the yeah. graphical processing that's power right. of it and so on um one thing you mentioned was like pri uh, retired couples yeah was something you that's mentioned exactly yeah, yeah. We've, we've had some uh, some retired couples um buy some stuff because generally speaking um cryptocurrency can be a bit technical a bit scary um you know it's kind of be a little bit too much for some people you know which is where where the company comes from you know we are easy crypto hunter we make right. it easy for people to hunt crypto right <laughs> so we right take there. away all the technicalities i mean you can take one the, this machine off the shelf you can take it home turn it on plug it in and it's mining for you straight away like that's it like if you can turn on an off button on you you're good to go so it's a plug and play piece yeah of kit. absolutely um and fundamentally retired couples which you know stereotypically might not be the me tech savvy in the world um the, 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 the that stage in the life where they might have a bit of disposable income in the bank they're getting one percent if they're lucky and they think hang on a minute like this i could have this machine just ticking along and actually this earns way way more and it kind of used mm. to top up the pension or they've had a big pension payoff or whatever money they, they decide to allocate to be able to do that and i suppose a lot of times if you want to get one percent on your savings you might have to put it in a five-year fixed yeah, term exactly. type of thing yeah which is when he's locked away for five years that's right which yeah. is kind of insane really and i suppose a lot of retired couples they may have their pensions and money in stock market and might feel a bit wobbly about the future mm -hmm. of the stock market if we have a financial crisis and might want to hedge hedge it some way or other yeah you know? and the best bit is about what we do here is you you own the physical equipment you, you know so rig, worst right? case scenario god forbid crypto goes tits up in a couple of months time you know you got all the boxes all the original components everything comes with you can you know, sell the components, which are top-end computer components, and they have very good uses completely externally mm -hmm. of cryptocurrency. Sure. Um, so you end up always kind of having your ass covered. So it's a very low financial risk, um, very high potential financial upside. It's kind of like selling your property if you yeah, don't want to rent it right, out. Yeah, if you don't want to rent it out, exactly that. Well, same it type is, of thing, it's, yeah. it's property in terms of you own it as yeah, a piece of property. Yeah, it's an asset of, of some description. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. You own the gear. Another weird one you mentioned was um, you called them waste to energy companies waste to energy companies yeah I'm speaking to you like so what on earth is that? so with all the kind of new kind of ecological progression and people trying to you know save the planet as best we can uh, a big new industry that's booming uh, particularly in the UK at the moment is waste to energy companies so okay. they effectively take what would go to landfill um, incinerate that rubbish um, sell the base products and components that come out of that and effectively generate very cheap electric because they get paid to take the fuel yeah, okay um, so they end up with lots of surplus electric which typically the model at the moment is sell it back to the grid but it's extremely expensive to join your facility to the grid there's right. a big amount of money that needs to do there to join them up so a lot of people are contacting me now on a commercial scale to put our mining farms in their factories mm -hmm. so they end up using extremely cheap electric to um, mine what would is effectively be a waste product at that point I see. Um, and then they can use you know uh, the heat from the machines so obviously we sat here next to them now there's you know we're not melting we're not going deaf i mean again as we've discussed they're very different from asic machines it's you know very easy to have but obviously if you've got a hundred of them then yeah you can feel the heat coming off them right. as, as a group so we can use the energy and the heat from that to recycle back into that process and help kind of keep the whole thing circular which is kind of cool yeah sweet also i suppose one of the criticisms of bitcoin is that it is isn't environmentally friendly yeah. because it's using a lot of yeah. electricity and so on but with this, it's kind of, I, I call it upcycling, where you take a waste product and then turn it into some yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and there's multiple elements of that in the waste product. Yeah, so for example, we've had customers who owned like a carpet factory. That was their business. And they were paying a lot of money in the warehouse where the staff were to right. heat the warehouse. It's a big <laughs> open warehouse. So they put a big rack of rigs in um, and then effectively turned off their heating and then they now get paid to heat that space. Interesting. So there's a lot of other ways to kind of, you know, use this as well. Um, which is which is cool. Um, so it's it's a nice bit of thing, and then obviously uh, pregnant women and, and families is another market that we've sold to. Um, 
sometimes we've had husbands who knew the, the wives were going on maternity leave and ended up putting a bit of savings into a rig to kind of earn some passive income to top up the wage difference. I see. That's interesting. Which was, which was kind of funny. So, you know, obviously everyone's circumstances are different and, you know, some people, you know, sometimes you get groups of friends just come together to, you know, splash in and kind of all group together and buy stuff or, you know, there's lots of people that are interested in this for lots of different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, you know, on one side you've got the kind of financial element and the amazing returns that it can offer compared to anything else, you know, irrespective of crypto. Because, you know, what you have to understand is no matter how much pounds and pence the machine's earning per month, that's not really what you're doing. You're earning Satoshis, right? Like, it's the crypto that you're mining. So what that's worth right now is somewhat irrelevant if you believe in the future growth and the value of, of the industry as a whole. Absolutely, yeah. Sure. You know, so in January, one of these machines was earning you £1,500. You know, today, one of these machines might be earning you five or £600 as of filming on a monthly in, in basis. Yeah. yeah, on a monthly basis. So that's that sounds like a big difference or you know it's three times less profitable now but it's not because the amount of cryptocurrency this machine is making is effectively pretty much the same that's assuming you sold it that's the right day you mined yeah, it yeah right? so if you you wouldn't be buying one of these machines unless you believe in the future of crypto that's fundamentally right. what this is based upon so if in a year's time you think that the market's going to continue to grow as we've seen for the years previously then you're not bothered that it's not about oh i've made 500 quid this month it's about what's that going to be worth in 12 months time uh -huh. 18 months time you know two years time five right. years time um, and that's where it gets really exciting and that's part of where you can personalize your mining business is decide whether you want to sell the mining yeah. coins immediately it's or hold so them flexible um you know because even it you just take the pounds and pence value at the end of the month you're earning more than any realistic investment that i'm aware of at this point in time uh -huh. sure. you know you can take what six seven eight ten twelve percent a month just that's pretty flipping good um but it can be way, way, way more than that when we kind of zoom out a little bit and look at the longer term game for crypto. And that's what's really exciting. I think that's one thing that we do forget yeah. is if you're immersed in crypto, you kind of look at these crazy numbers, whereas outside of that, still compared to all of the other investment types, yeah. asset classes, yeah. it's, it's still, wild. still Absolutely wildly wild, better. Yeah. And that's why the property example is a good one from yeah. like even... It's easy for people to understand. It is. That's yeah. why I use the two eights, like 8% a year to 8% a month because yeah. you're like, what? That just yeah. sounds like so much better. Yeah, no, sounds yeah, cool. It's cool. Hi there, guys. This is Chris Coney speaking. Thanks for joining me for this part of the GPU mini series. Stay tuned for the next one.